Hello Super Saiyan Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the season 2 finale of the series The Perfect Bodybuilding Physique Hybrid in which we've been building the perfect bodybuilder using different body parts from different bodybuilders depending who's got that certain best body part for all the 8 mandatories. In this episode we're going to take care of the most muscular pose but if you haven't seen the first 7 mandatory poses yet, you can find links to all these episodes in the description of this video, as well as a playlist with season 1 episodes where we basically did the same thing, the difference being that season 2 hybrids should look more balanced and realistic, as uh, season 1 hybrids looked too freaky. Like I already mentioned in this episode we're going to take care of the most muscular pose and we're gonna build two different hybrids for two different variations of this pose. The crab variation and the hands clasped variation. Both of these hybrids will be built in five different steps meaning five different body parts from different individuals. So without further ado let's begin with step number one. The head. It should already be known that for this second season I'll be using my own face for all the hybrids so without further explanations, boom. Step number 2, the arms. This step is uh, gonna include the dares as well so we need one or two bodybuilders with very competitive guns and delts in the most muscular pose. In my opinion the guy that has uh, the most impressive guns overall in the crab variation of the most muscular is Phil Heath. And Kevin Levroni had the most impressive hands clasped most muscular so boom. The crab guy leans forward thus he is closer to the camera that's why he looks bigger. Step number 3, the chest and the rest of the torso. Phil Heath had one of the greatest crab most muscular poses of all time but those who don't agree with that often point out his chest so he's not getting the chest in any of the hybrids. The crab variation hybrid is gonna get Ronnie Coleman's chest and the hands clasped hybrid is gonna get Kevin Levroni's chest. Kevin had great chest development as well. Boom. The hands clasped guy got Kevin's entire upper body and the crab guy got Phil's midsection and traps alongside Ronnie's chest. These body parts looking very impressive in this pose for Phil. I'm not saying Phil had the best abs but in this execution they look good enough as they are not very visible. Step number 4 the quads. Now that we have built the upper bodies we can notice again that we're dealing with a mass monster on the left and a more aesthetic guy which is also massive on the right. So we need a pair of mass monster quads and a pair of uh, more aesthetic yet massive quads. Jay Cutler and Sean Roden are the answer. Boom. Step number 5, the calves. Jay Cutler and Sean Roden had great calves as well and this is not me being lazy but like I promised you guys these hybrids should be having more natural flow and balance so why bother try to match other guys' calves to these hybrids when Jay and Sean have already great calves themselves, right? Boom. So what do you guys think about these two hybrids? And yes, the second one is only Kevin Levroni and Sean Roden aside from the head. Those two make the perfect combination, don't they? Ok, now that we've finished this series, who do you want to see season 2 hybrid go against in a bodybuilding comparison? Let me know in the comment section below. Also like this video if you wanna support the channel. Subscribe so you won't miss any of my new videos and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.